Hello guys, Steven here back with another video and in case you didn't know, I already made a video on this and it was four weeks ago right here, 3,000 views, about 3,000 views, probably 3,000 views by tomorrow and it's increasing rapidly, probably like 300 views per day now and that's great and if you guys are new subscribers or are searching this in the YouTube search, welcome and subscribe if you haven't yet, like this video if you enjoy it and share it with your friends. If you have any questions, just leave it in the comment section and I will, I will comment and reply to the post. Okay, so I'm going to teach you guys how to make thumbnails like me. And as I said, it was, uh, I made it four weeks ago and my, my thumbnails haven't changed a lot, but I have done a little things that make it a little, a look a little bit better. You guys be the judge from like here to here. I'm not sure if it looks better at all. Uh, you guys can leave that in the comments below. So what you want to do is go into Photoshop and here you're going to press file new to start a new project and make the width and height 7, uh, 1280 by 720 pixels. Make the background contents transparent and name the project whatever you want. Press OK once you are done. And once you're done that, it should look like this. Have a little checkered background. That means that means it's transparent. And here, you, you're gonna wanna find a really good wallpaper. So if you're doing Call of, Call of Duty, Call of, oh, cap logs on. Call of Duty, of Duty wallpaper. You can obviously do whatever, like pretend you do FIFA. You can do FIFA uh, wallpaper. Minecraft wallpapers and if you're uh, do tutorials like me you can always do like a grunge wallpaper a graphic wallpaper like a geometric wallpaper sunburst wallpaper so I'm gonna press file place to place the wallpaper find your wallpaper oh I'm gonna press view image I didn't save it properly here I'm gonna press file place and then it should appear right here and then I'm gonna hold shift to keep the aspect ratio so it doesn't like it be really fat like this or like really tall so I'm gonna control Z that and hold shift and then drag it and then just drag it so it fits the whole canvas okay press that check mark in the top right once you're done and what I like to do next is make it black and white black and white and then hold uh, control and press the wallpaper and press control E once you're done that and now it will be one layer instead of two and then now I like to take my brush right here and make it 600 pixels so it covers 600 pixels and make it soft round option right here and select whatever color you want so in this case I'll do blue so let's make it blue here and what I like to do is put more on the right side or where the object's going to be. So I'm going to put like a gun here. You can put whatever you want there. You can put it like a little an Android robot, put an iPhone there. Same thing. It's just I'm going to put a gun here instead of a uh, whatever you're doing. So once you're done that, make sure there's more on the right side or on the left side, depending where you put the object. So make the op opacity 75%. Oh, actually, I messed up. I should have made a new layer before I did it so probably press new layer and do that thing again so I'll do it a little quick now okay now make it 75% and what you want to do now is go onto that black and white image and right click and press blending options and press say satin I'm not sure how to say it and then make it the same color so I'll just take this color and press and make it 100% opacity or oh, 75% opacity press ok and now what you want to do is put down your object so in this case I'll be doing a, a, a advanced warfare gun and make sure it's a PNG so it's transparent and then here I'm just gonna take this one and then press save image as Place it down here and hold shift and drag down to keep the aspect ratio. And now what you want to do is go and right click on blending options once again and go on outer glow. Make the size 43, make the opacity 75, keep it the same and make it the same color. So just press there, press blend, blend mode right here is normal. 
and then um, go on to inner glow make it the same color as well press ok make it 43 make it normal blend mode and that's how it should look like and then move this layer with the color the blue color at the bottom and since you, you see those uh, white borders like that uh, like that's from the satin so you just uh, press ctrl T and resize it actually I'll be changing this to uh, a little lighter than the actual blue because it will like it looks kind of weird here so I'll just make it darker yeah I'll just make it like that so the gun stands out and I'll actually put this layer over here and then now it looks good and what you want to do here is your text so if you have like I don't know um, a legendary supply drop or something like that so let me just lower the size here to 150 legendary supply drop so what I recommend here is make one of the text um, one of the text a different color so I'll pretend uh, this could be white or something and this can be blue so let's put an exclamation mark and yep oh it's backwards For some reason I'm not sure why it's backwards um let's just go into the blending option so for supply drop this is gonna this is the one that's gonna be blue press on under glow make it 25 press on this and then select the same color select 43 and yes and press normal and you can add a drop shadow so let's do 22 22 or let's just do 55 55 all right, okay, let's just make this 15, 0, 15, okay? Or 1. 15, 0, 1. And then that's it for that. And now we want to make this one white. So just change the color to white. Right click, blending options. And instead of making the outer glow blue, we're making it white. Press normal. Make it 43. And make the opacity 25. And make the drop shadow 15 distance and just make it so it lines up with the bottom text so make it a little bit bigger so here and that's about it for this video hope you enjoyed you can obviously add another thing here if you want you can move everything around you can edit it you can do whatever you want and this is basically how I make my uh, my thumbnails or you can add even blend in some blend in some uh, wallpapers you want you don't have to use um, just one wallpaper a lot of people do not know that so I'll show you guys how to blend in more wallpapers so once this loads here I have this wallpaper here so just move it to the bottom so the text shows and all I have to do is press color dodge and then there's stripes and you can add like uh, you can add stars or whatever. I have little stars here. And press color dodge once again. Color dodge here. And then that that's it. So thank you guys for watching. If you guys like my videos and want to see future uploads, you can subscribe right now. Like this video, comment. My name's Steven. I'll see you in the next one.